Supply Master helps Shopify merchants automatically import and update product, inventory, and pricing data for thousands of variants directly from their suppliers. In this demo, we'll cover the following, adding a supplier, filtering supplier products and syncing supplier data. Let's begin by adding a new supplier. To do this, navigate to the home screen of the Supply Master app. To add a supplier, simply click on the Add Supplier button. We will be taken to the Add New Supplier screen. Here, you can select a supplier type to connect to your Supply Master account. For this demo, we'll be connecting to S&S Activewear. Next, you'll need to enter the connection credentials. Start by providing a supplier name. Then, input your username, this is your S&S Activewear account number. After that, you'll need to enter your API key. Please contact the supplier if you do not have this with you. Next, select your country from the drop-down menu. We have selected the US. Now click Test Credentials to check if we can connect to the supplier with the API key and username we entered. As you can see, the test connection is successful. Once that is done, click on the Save Supplier button to save the new supplier information. Next, let us click on Edit Inventory Settings. Here, you can match your supplier's location to your Shopify locations. Inventory data from the supplier's location will be automatically connected to the location you choose to map it to. Location 1, 2 and 3 are Shopify locations, and these can be matched to warehouse locations for S&S Activewear. We will now set up all the supplier warehouse locations we need to import inventory from. Next, set the inventory adjustment quantity. This value will be used to reduce the supplier's inventory by a specified amount, creating a buffer to prevent overselling. In this example, we've set the inventory adjustment quantity to 10. This means that the supplier's inventory will be reduced by 10 units for each product and updated in your Shopify store inventory. Click Save Supplier to save your settings. Next, let us set up a few products to import to this Shopify store. In the Filter Products and Variants section, you have the option to apply specific filters to your imported products and variants. This feature allows you to selectively import and display items that meet your chosen criteria. Click the Add Product Filters button in the Filter Products section. In this example, we will filter all products that belong to the brand guild and contain the number 16 in their style ID. Enter a value in the style ID filter. Click the Add Product Filters button again to add the brand to the filter. Set up the brand name. Click Save Supplier to save the changes made to the product filters. Click the back arrow to return to the previous page. Click View Products to see the products associated with the supplier. As you browse the filtered product list, you'll see only the items that match your filters. This makes it easy to manage the products you want to import into your online store. Click on a product to view its variants. Click on the Back to Product List button to return to the previous page. Now we are ready to import product data to our Shopify store. To start the process, click on Import Products. This will begin the import process. In this demo we are importing around 500 variants. The same process can be used to import tens of thousands of variants from the supplier. The status of the import process can be viewed in the Sync History section. As you can see here product data for 9 products and over 500 variants has now been updated. To view the products you have created on Shopify, head over to the Shopify Products section. Here you can see newly created products that have been imported from S&S Activewear. Product titles and images have been set up and are ready to go in Shopify. To view product details, click on a product title. 
All product information, including perfectly formatted descriptions, product images, vendor details, tags have been created. A large number of variants have been created, each with mapped images, pricing, inventory counts and other details. We match the supplier's data fields to Shopify product fields in the match fields section, ensuring that all the relevant information is accurately transferred and displayed. Other variant details like price, cost, SKU codes, and barcodes have also been updated based on the supplier's data. Inventory data has been imported from the supplier's warehouses and updated to the mapped Shopify locations. Inventory data can be reviewed in detail under the Shopify Inventory tab. We can see that each location is carrying the specific inventory quantities from the supplier warehouse map to it. Before we end the demo, here is a quick glimpse of other advanced features in Supply Master. Click on Edit Supplier to view supplier settings. In the Match Fields section, you can match the supplier's data fields to your Shopify product fields. In this section, we can see a list of fields from both the supplier and Shopify data. The field settings we see here are those created by default when we created the supplier. For example, we can match the supplier's title field to Shopify's title field. Additionally, we can create custom modifications for specific fields. Here, we've set the Shopify variant price field to be modified with a 20% margin. The modifications can be done in Shopify's standard templating language. In this case it allows us to automatically apply a 20% markup to your purchase price when supplier prices change. Next, let us look at the Automatic Sync Settings section. In the Automatic Sync Settings section, you can set up automatic imports to keep your inventory, pricing, and product information up to date without any manual intervention. To configure the import frequency, simply select your preferred option from the frequency drop-down menu. In this example, we've chosen daily to ensure that your product data stays current with the latest information from your supplier once a day. In the product settings section, you can choose channels to automatically publish the products you import. For example, we can publish the products both on the online store and the point of sale at Shopify. That bring us to the end of this demo. In summary, Supply Master automatically manages thousands of data points across inventory, pricing, and product information at your store every day. This helps you save weeks of time and effort while maintaining an accurate and up-to-date online store. If you have any questions or need assistance, please email us at support at comstack.com.